All right, we got three pounds of not ground beef. Either meatloaf mix. This is meatball mix. Meatball. Where am I gonna get meatball mix? You can buy one pound of ground beef. Uh, actually, one and a half pounds of ground beef, half a pound of ground veal. Veal. And a pound of ground pork. So it's beef, veal, veal and, and pork. pork. My goodness. Today. Normally I just use a, a fork or a knife, a butter knife. And you just smash. Alright. Three pounds of meatball mix. At, yeah. at tops it's also called meatloaf mix. You can find it, not sure about Nick. It's what is it? Beef and it's pork. Beef and veal. veal and pork. Oh, beef? Gross. That's what makes it delicious. Okay. Salt. Are they tortured? And baby. This is the part, I don't know how much that is. Oh, uh, it's an ass ton. <laughs> no, that's really not. Don't oversalt it. That was probably half a teaspoon. Yeah, right. I, would, I would do a pinch normally because that's how I undersalt things. Mm -hmm. All right, what's that? Pepper? Black, black, black pepper? Probably uh, another half a teaspoon. Like cover the top? Hel healthy mm -hmm. shoe. Covering the top. Pepper, I'm not so... Next is... Basil. Mint. Mint leaves. Which is somewhere. Oh, I like that old school bowl over there. Old school bowl? Oh, yeah, you've had that for a ceramic bowl. <clears throat> What's that? Mint. Dried mint. Show them the bottle. Yeah, let me get a hit of that bottle. Mint leaves. Pelican. This is probably... About a teaspoon and a half of mint. That was like, all right, is that Parmesan? Uh, this is Pecorino Romano, but you can use either one. But don't buy something in a can at the Gross. deli. Okay. All right. Oh, come on. This is probably quarter you cup. Measure that. No, that's fine. We can do that. A quarter that's, cup, uh, maybe? What? Third she's of just, a cup. She's doing the same thing every time. She's just covering the top. So just cover it up with each of the spices and the feeling. cheese. Now, one egg per pound. So this is three pounds of meat. Ooh, we're almost out of eggs. Damn chickens. Not laying any freaking eggs because Dad wouldn't let them out of the coop. <clears throat> all right. So crack them first and then pour them all in at once. Yeah, only because these are farm eggs, and if you get one, it's a double yolk. Yeah, one that has babies in it. <laughs> Ew. One. There's no baby. There's no she has rooster. no little roosters. Wait, if you get one that's what? Spoiled like there was a crack in it or something. Mm. You can tell as soon as you put it in a bowl that it's not right. How do you know? Because it smells like death. Because it looks weird. What does it look like? No, no. Things that gone bad always smell. So that's give it also smell. true. If it smells bad, throw it out. All right. Three eggs. Three gold doubloons. Just use white bread. White bread. I didn't feel that's like that's buying white bread because no one's going to eat it, so I bought Italian bread. Mm. Mixing up the recipe. No, you can buy white bread. I'm pretty sure the Italian bread preferred method. Probably. For Italian meatballs. But then you got to really chop up that crust because it's going to be crusty and you don't want big chunks of crust in a meatball. Mm -hmm. You sure don't, Gorby. Gross. Sometimes the carton just smells like shit. Yeah, the carton is often where you're smelling most of it. What's this? So a loaf and a half, so half, half a slice no, per pound. No, that, that's just a small... <clears throat> um, some of this mag. That's a very small piece of bread. Who's this okay. for you? But is that all the bread or are you getting uh, That's for beds and for sleeping. I take magazines and put some in. Could you put that in a food processor or a blender? It's, it's because I bought Italian bread and not just white bread. The crust normally just dissolves. It's so super intensive. Into a delicious piece. Is that whole milk, by the way? It is, but you can use any milk. You don't need whole milk. I just bought it for pie. You need whole milk. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's got vitamin D. Like I said, this normally, if you don't buy Italian bread with a thick crust, this just mushes with a fork. Oh, she got that filthy hand the whole bowl. Oh, nasty. You're not going to find these, Seasoned I don't Seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are gluten-free. That's gluten-free seasoned you, breadcrumbs? Yeah, but you don't have to buy these. Okay, but they're the same thing? Basically. the regular breadcrumbs, right? Mm-hmm. 
There's no reason for you to uh, buy. Too Why are you misking? So it's a little less gluten-y. So you do breadcrumbs and milky bread. Mm -hmm. Oh, that milky bread looks like that's the money shot right there. That's what this is all about. That's the magic. And, but not without them. All right, the oven is over there preheating, by the way. I need a bowl. Is that a whole set? No, this is a single bowl. Don't get your fingers masked. God, I like these cracks, you little slut. What cracks? Cute little, like, flowered ones? Flowery ones. You do like them? I do. Are you using a whole onion like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's like one medium sized onion. I would do a little bit more. So onions <clears> were <throat> small in this bag. Really salty. So you're, when you're, if you're adding cheese like that, you're actually adding salt too. Salt too. Can you just do beef and pork without the baby? I mean, yeah, it's sure. just more beef, right? Would they torture? Yeah, the tortured baby cows. That's how they get extra tender. But if it's ground, then it doesn't matter, because the whole point of it being tender is like for a steak or something. I don't eat veal. It's just, it's just how they make meatball mix. It's so yummy. I don't know what to tell you. Just, just lie about what's in your meatloaf mix when you go buy it at the store. And get your paws in there? Not until it's mostly done. <laughs> like gonna, this. Am I gonna manhandle it? Oh, I will. Just no need to freeze my hands yet. Because you can do a lot of the preliminary with just a fork. Oh, look at that. Extra tea. Real dig away. Look at the way she works that meat. <laughs> yeah, wait to see how my hands are all white in about a minute. Yeah, I hate handling cold meat. <gasps> are you counting how long <gasps> are you doing this for? So your hand freezes? It's no, so you don't see like pieces of meatball bread it looks separate. Hom homogeneous. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you. Everything looks the same. So you're homogenizing <laughs> it with your bagel hand? Yep. Got it. The slowest heated. Stinking miracle over here. I think I'm gonna get an iPad and a and a BlackBerry. Do you still make BlackBerry? All right. I don't know. That's nice. Okay. Now, last phase. <laughs> make new ones. I have like two old ones that I read. That's it. Do oh. not keep rolling the ball. Don't you keep playing with the meat. You spoon it. Scoop in a quick fondle. Yep. Fluff. Just give yep. it a generally round shape. Yep. This is the final piece. Why? You don't pack it. To not turn your meatballs into hard as a rock. That's it. Right there. Okay, well, what does the packing do? Make it hard. <laughs> Make it hard. Why? Because that's what you're doing. You're making it dense. You're pushing everything together so it's nice oh, and so tight. Oh, so the air is softening them? Mm -hmm. That's a little big. Make, try to make them the same, similar size, too, so when you bake them, they're not, like... Sometimes I like a raw center, though. <laughs> With pork? You do not do that. Yeah. You get a little E. coli, a little salmonella, so Ew. below my tolerance. So that if I ever have to eat raw pork in the wild, you know, I'll be fine, right? And yeah. you can do them that close? They oh, yeah, they're not cookies. They don't spread? No, they're not, not cookies. cookies. Are you sure? Oh, what was all that so baking hard. soda I for? I remember all this stuff. Well, that's why I'm recording. There wasn't any baking soda. <laughs> She doesn't know that. She doesn't have a recipe. That's true. You do not. She goes into a trance and blacks out when she does this. <laughs> <laughs> she just wakes up the next morning to meatballs. Little rack. Three seventy-five for twenty mm -hmm. minutes. Until don't don't go on the one sixty. Well, it fits. <laughs> but what if I'm not putting it in sauce? Are these cooked? Is yes. This? All right, fully cooked. These seem like you'd have some wiggle room, like if you. You could also turn the oven to four hundred. I mean, if so meatloaf is the same. Hey, Bubba. Meat, one egg per pound. Onion, grated onion, breadcrumbs. Then instead of any other spices besides salt and pepper. You add about a half a cup of ketchup 
and then you put it in a loaf on a pan like that and you just form it into a loaf and then pour uh, ketchup all over the top of it. Wait, and then I'm... bake it at 350, not 375. Because it's om- so much bigger. It sounds like a lot of differences. We're omitting the <laughs> mint, the cheese. Omit the cheese, omit the mint. Omit the, the milk? And mint the bread with milk. Instead, put at least a half a cup of ketchup in there. So anything that would salt. So it's up. just the mm-hmm. meat, salt and pepper, eggs, and... Onion. Onion. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Ketchup. ketchup. Okay. Got it. Now you can use just ground beef for meatloaf, but I don't. Because I do like... It tastes meat. a lot better with the meatloaf mix or meatball mix, whatever. I Beef and pork. Why have organic pork down there?